Hey guys, welcome back to the Anthony Design Coach YouTube channel. My name is Anthony, I hope you're having a great day. Today we're going to be uh, designing a launch screen in SwiftUI 2.0. Um, I have already got my uh, Exco projects open, I've just called it Splash View. I've also gone ahead and added some assets, such as the background and the simple logo. We're now going to go over to our info.plist and we're just going to go down to the launch screen here and we're going to add a image name which is going to be our logo and also a background color which is going to be our background then we are going to go and save this we're going to go into our assets we're going to click on our image and open up this and we need to make sure that our render as a original image is on and now we're going to go ahead and open up the content view Sorry about that. Um, so, now we're in our content view. We've got a couple of things that we're going to start sorting out. So, we're going to create a um, two states in here. Uh, one is going to be for when we are animating, and it's going to be equal to false. And the other one is going to be, well, what's going to happen when we are finished, or when we have ended our splash. Is also false. Okay, now we're going to uh, drop down and take this out. We're going to create a Z stack. Z stack. Um, and now we're going to create a, another Z stack. But basically, now we're just going to um, we're just going to add in our color, which is our DG color background. And also our image. Now, if you was to run this on the simulator before adding all this in, we would get a launch screen. Uh, but we want to um, manipulate how things are loading. So in here, we're just going to say logo, and we're going to say that this is resizable, and the render mode is original. That's what we put our uh, image in as set as in the assets. And now we're going to give this an aspect. Uh, ratio of um, dot fit for now. Awesome. And now we're going to give this a frame, and our size is going to be about 45 by 45. I'm going to get rid of the alignment. Great. Um, now we are going to quickly come out of here. I'm going to create a tape, and this is going to be animate. Awesome. So now we're going to add in a dispatch queue, and basically, um, okay, great. So now we've got those in here. I'm going to come out of this one here, all the way down here, and we're just going to add in a function which is going to be animate splash. And basically, in here, we're going to have a, a series of uh, dispatch queues, and these are going to be basically for using a roof animation to ease out and ease back in. Just kind of like the uh, Twitter styled uh, splash game where the, where the um, Twitter bird uh, is um, small and then it kind of just explodes and opens the door to the app. Uh, we did replicate this in a previous uh, video that was in Swift 5. So if you want to do that in Swift 5 too, please go and check that video out. I will link it in the description below. Um, so we're now going to add in a dispatch queue. Awesome, I'm going to say main dot. This is going to be async after. We have a deadline of now. And we're going to add on a 0.2 part. We're just going to get rid of this. And now this is what we're going to now add in our with animation. We have animate, and we're just going to say ease out with also a duration of um, no point, no point four five. Now, this is basically our speed of our first animation. Now you can toggle this um, and make it go faster, slower, whatever you like. And what I'm also going to say is animate dot toggled 
Um, and there we go. And we're also now going to copy this one here, and we're also going to deal with the um, end splash. So I'm going to change this to uh, linear, and we're also going to change the speed to 35. Awesome. So now we're going to go back up, and we're just going to change a couple of things on our image. So for the um, aspect ratio, we currently have it to fit. So we want to say when if it's animating, uh, we want it to fill. Otherwise, we want it to fit. It's great. Also, we're going to go ahead and change the size as well. So we're going to say animate, and we're going to say um, nil um, at forty-five. And we're going to go ahead and just copy the same in here for the height as well. That's great. So um, now we're just going to um, deal with a couple of other things. So this is for um, scaling the uh, view here. Um, we're just going to say dot scale effect is uh, animate. And I'm going to say um, three over one. That's great. Um, we're also going to set a uh, width. This will just to avoid any oversizing. Um, so we're going to say frame uh, width. We do not want any of this, sorry. And we're going to say your screen dot main dot bounds uh, dot width. That will just give everything nice in there. So now we're just going to uh, clear up some of this. And we're just going to say ignore. Ignore save areas um, on all, and we're also going to add in the edges as well on dot all. Um, great, and now we're just going to say on up here because we haven't actually added our animation in yet. So we're going to say on up, on up here, and we're going to add a um, a perform onto this. And we don't need to add any uh, code in here, we're just going to call our animate splash. Awesome, we don't need those on there, um, sorry. And now we uh, need to figure out how we're going to actually hide the view uh, when this is finished. So we're going to say dot opacity, and we're just going to say end splash, question mark, um, none, and one. Um, and that's um, kind of it for the, um, the loading screen. Now what's gonna where is our loading screen gonna take us? So we're now gonna build a quick um, home view, um, sorry, uh, struct state, sorry, struct and then home. And this is a view oh. of our body, some view. And now we're just going to add some simple stuff in here. So we're just going to create, first off, we're just going to create a v-stack, v sorry, and then a h-stack. And we're just going to add some uh, text in here. And this will just say Anthony. You can call it whatever you like in here, design. And then code. It's awesome. Uh, we're going to add a font, which is just going to be large. Uh, we could say title actually, just title for now, just and then we'll just um, add the font weight and we'll just have that as heavy. heavy and we're adding the foreground color. Um, don't believe okay, uh, this can just be our background color for now or something. Color. Not background. Um, we can add a spacer in here as well. Um, we could do the min lamp. The uh, min lamp is a uh, naught. We just add that in there right now. And also now we're just going to go ahead and add some padding. And then we're going to add some padding along the top. We're going to say the top, and we're going to have this uh, on the UI uh, screen application. Sorry, UI. Location and this is going to be a shared view. So I'm going to say shared dot windows uh, dot first uh, question mark and save save 
and we're just going to say it on top, that's great. And also now we're just going to add in a background. Uh, this will be um, just on the back of this. Uh, so um, we could just say uh, color, um, uh, we'll just go with the color white, I suppose. Okay, and then we're adding a second, well, we're adding another spacer. Um, and now we want to just go out of this, and we're just going to also add in some ignore, say, areas along all. Again, I'm going to add the edges um, of dot top. Great. And now we're going to give uh, our whole queue a background color. We're just going to go with the um, same color that we had in here, which is just white. Okay. And again, we're just going to add this to um, ignore safe areas. And we're going to say all and also on the edges as all as well. So that's great. So we do have our, um, uh, we have our home, home view, we have our splash view. But um, after the splash view, um, we're not going to see our home view, so we have to uh, add, it in, add it in here. So we're just going to add it in here as home. That's awesome. So now I'm going to run this on the simulator glass. Boom, and it was as quick as you like. <laughs> and there we go, guys, and we're in our um, home view right there with the Anthony Coves just nicely along at the uh, top. Um, so, you guys, hope you have enjoyed uh, this tutorial today. And if you have, please like, subscribe if you're new here, and comment below. Um, let me, you know, see what you guys want me to do next and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah.